All right, so as we start our practice today, I want everyone to just feel comfortable as we get down to our mat. So if you'd like to lay yourself all the way down on the floor, just roll your shoulders into the ground, checking in with yourself, checking in with the room. If you suddenly find yourself being distracted by a noise, go ahead and remove the noise or accept it. Accept the noise, accept the sound, become aware of it, recognize it, name it, and then just let it go. Allowing ourselves to focus on our yoga practice today, we are going to continue to practice and further our mindfulness practice. Mindfulness is free of judgment. We're thinking about the here and now and we're present. Any of the drama that's going on in the rest of our lives, any of the to-do lists, all of the stuff that we're weighed down with throughout the day, throughout the week, right now we're practicing mindfulness. So we're worrying about our body. We're checking in with every muscle, every ache and pain, every part of the body. We're worried about our mental health our emotional health, checking in that we're, we're allowing ourselves some time away from all of the stress, the worry, the fear, right? It's scary sometimes thinking about everything that's going on around us. We're safe, we're happy, we're healthy, and we wanna be grateful for that. And just allowing those feelings to rush over us is recognizing that there is lots of good stuff in our life right now. So as we continue to lay down on our mat, just taking our hands, you can feel free to rest your hands on your heart and your stomach, or you can take your hands out down by your side, resting on the floor comfortably. I wanna just make sure that you feel good with your shoulders and your hips down on the mat. We feel straight through the spine and our nose is pointing straight up to the ceiling with the flat part of our head on the ground. We're not twisted or tilted. And all that that's doing is double checking that we're finding a neutral. Continuing to lay here, I want you to bring your focus to your breathing now. Closing our eyes, drawing air in through our nose with a big inhale. Exhale through the nose. And just practicing this a couple of times. Noticing that if we pretend there's a balloon living under our rib cage, as we inhale, we fill the balloon, lifting the ribs, the chest, the neck up. And then as we exhale, that balloon gets smaller and smaller and smaller, allowing our whole body just to float and settle down into the floor. What I like to imagine is that as I inhale, I fill my balloon up with positive energy. As I exhale, I get rid of all of the negative energy. Anything that's weighing me down, anything that's been really bothering me or upsetting me, as you breathe out, let it just float away. If it's really important, if it really matters, you can pick it back up again at the end of our yoga practice. And if it's not important, we can let it continue to float on away. We don't need it anymore. That's a lot to do with our shoulder and neck pain, which is where we're going to come into today with our practice. Recognizing that all that stress, all that worry, it gets built up in through those shoulders and necks. We carry that stress around and it becomes heavy. We don't want that anymore. We want to really focus on letting all of that stuff just brush off. So as we lay here now, I'd like us to take a big inhale and just reach those arms all the way up above our head, reach them long on the floor, just like you're stretching in the morning. See how long you can create your body as we lay on the mat. And I'll join you now as we practice this big stretch. It feels so good. Big stretch open. Let's stretch out our right side by grabbing a hold of that arm and just pulling the arm a little bit more to the left. Notice that how that feels as we stretch down the entire right side of our body. We'll repeat similar moves like this throughout our class today. Really focusing on opening up through the shoulders, the necks and the back. Go ahead and grab a hold of that left arm, just at the wrist if it's comfortable. Pull that side a little bit more. I'm really feeling this down past my arm today. Depending on what we did this week or our, our exercises that we did last night or this morning, noticing how that feels on our muscles. We'll release the arms. 
gather our knees into our chest, give ourselves that wonderful hug. I love starting our yoga class off with knees to chest, giving ourselves that hug, rocking side to side, kneading out the lower back. Just a nice little massage here. Noticing whether or not we feel any tightness through the hips. And then as we hold our knees to chest, just hold it still, give them a nice squeeze. Start to roll our ankles, getting all the cricks and cracks out. Okay, let's keep a hold of our right knee as we send that left leg to the floor. I know our focus is on shoulders today, but I can't miss this opportunity to just open up through the hips a bit, opening that right knee towards the right shoulder, noticing any stretch we feel across the hips, maybe in through the groin, the inner thigh. Just try to relax the shoulders. Notice while we're laying here that we're still trying to just stay soft through the features in our face. Still taking those nice deep breaths. And then we'll release the leg down to the floor. Let's draw the left knee in now. And as we get comfortable holding that left leg, we'll go ahead and open the knee out towards the left side really sending that right leg firmly into the floor. Now, as we stretch open through the left hip, still being aware of bringing our shoulders and letting them just melt into the ground. Couple nice big breaths. Last big inhale, draw the leg in. Exhale, release. Very good. Taking your feet in nice and close to our body, Hands are down by our sides. We'll do a few glute bridges to try to open up through our back. So yes, we're using our glutes and we're activating at the hips, but I want us to focus on stretching down the back and across through the chest and stomach. So as we open up the collar, let's take a big inhale, lift those hips up and notice what's happening through the core. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up, press down through the whole foot, right side, left side, and exhale, lower. Two more times. Inhale, lift up, press down through those shoulders. Exhale, release. One more time, big inhale, lift up. And exhale, lower down. Very nice. Taking ourselves over and up. We'll find ourselves coming up into our tabletop position. So tabletop, we want our knees underneath our hips hands underneath our shoulders, spread those fingers, soft elbows, right? We don't wanna lock our arms and hyperextend the joint. We wanna soft elbows, flat back. See if you could balance my coffee cup on your back. From here, we're going to do a few cats and cows. So we inhale, open the chest, look tall through the core. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, round the back, tuck the chin. Inhale, untuck the tailbone. Start to extend through the spine as we open the chest, long necks, lift tall through crowns. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, draw the belly buttons in, rounding through the rib cage, the shoulder blades, and tuck the chin. Let's do that again. Inhale, open. See how long we can become. And exhale, round up as high as we can. Good, now just holding tabletop, finding ourselves coming in to thread the needle. So as we support ourselves from table, take our right arm, inhale, lift it up nice and high to the ceiling. Exhale, thread all the way underneath the left arm. We lay into our shoulder, our ear. We can reach that top arm forward. Noticing how this feels as we take a big inhale and exhale, release. Couple nice big breaths here. Notice what's happening as we're stretching through the upper back, the shoulder. And we slowly work our way back up in through our tabletop position. Find that we're feeling grounded, we're feeling supported. Big inhale, lift the left arm high. Exhale, reach ourselves under. Bend the arms forward. Good, and just lay here. Notice how that feels if you have to make any modifications, any changes in order to feel the best stretch. All right, slowly coming up into our tabletop position. 
we're going to walk it out into puppy dog. So we take our hands a little bit farther forward, reach them long, press through the fingers, extend the fingers as we spread them. Now lift our tailbones up nice and high. Now we can place the forehead on the ground, or I like to bring the chin. Gives even more of a stretch, but listen to the body and then try to create a slide or a ramp out of your back. Notice how much stretch you can get through the shoulder blades. Notice where we're feeling the stretch. Just take a couple big breaths. Slowly, let's work our way all the way back up. Careful with those shoulders as we bring them back in. Tuck the hips down into the heels and find child's pose stretch now. Reach those arms long. I'd recommend extending through the shoulders, so pushing the hands down into the floor. That's gonna help actively stretch through the muscles in the shoulder area. Just take a couple of big breaths. Stretching through the side body, let's walk our hands over to the right. Place our left hand on top of the right hand and pull that left side open. It's gentle. We listen to the body. Just take a couple nice big breaths. Slowly walk our hands over to the left side. Place the right hand on top. Now stretching through the right side. Notice where we feel the stretch. Coming through the middle. From child's pose, I want us to come forward into modified plank, strong through the shoulders, slow chaturanga down to the mat. That's that controlled lower. Hands stay under shoulders, glue the shoulder blades together in the back, lift up for baby cobra. Just a little lift up of the chest, and then a slow push back through child's pose. Good, we're going to do that gentle flow just three more times. Inhale forward to modified plank. Exhale chaturanga all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra, scoop up, squeeze the shoulders together, long neck, and release the body, press back, child's pose. Takes a lot of control. Inhale forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, scoop up, baby cobra. So your hands are on the ground, but you could take them off. Press back into child's pose, exhale. One more time, inhaling forward. Exhale, chaturanga, controlled lower elbows, brushing rib cage, squeeze the shoulder blades together, long necks as we take cobra. And press back with our exhale, child's pose. And just noticing as we rest in child's pose, what we're feeling. Coming forward through tabletop now, we're going to find runner's lunge. So we step our right foot all the way up in between our hands, stacking the knee above the ankle. We always build strong foundations in yoga, finding our hips, keeping them facing to the front. And then from here, I want us to glue through the abdominal muscles, keep those shoulders gluing in the back, lift those arms all the way up, relax our shoulders down. So while we're holding ourselves in this runner's lunge position, I want us to keep our hips level so we're not twisted or tilted. We're keeping our legs roughly hips with distance apart with those arms high. Now I want us to take the left elbow and bend it down into a tricep stretch. I'll do this from the back so you can see the back view as well. If anyone wants more, we can bind it. That just means connecting fingers. So as we continue to hold our runner's lunge, however we'd like to hold through the shoulders, we're opening up our hips, we're working on balance, and we're still focusing on our breathing. Good, let's take a big inhale, lift up. Exhale, stand those hands down. 
and switch. Nothing too complicated for the brains today. Let's just switch to the other side. Placing the left foot directly on top of the ankle, making that perpendicular line with the shin. We come up when we're ready, level hips, shoulders and hips face front. Inhale, lift those arms up nice and tall. Take the shoulders down our back. Notice if we're feeling like we've undercut our leg at all. Go ahead and walk that further forward if you need more. Listen to your body, but don't let your stomach then start to hang forward. Keep this engaged. Lift up through the abdominal muscles to help stretch through the back of that hip. Hip flexors connected into the thigh and the abdominal wall. So we need to engage the core to help stretch those big muscles in the front of the leg. Now, while we're here, go ahead and drop that right elbow down. Oh, amazing tricep stretch. Just remember to keep the head lifted so we've got a nice long neck stretching through the shoulder and the tricep. Feel free to bind those hands in the back if that's better for us. Couple big breaths. Inhale, lift our arms up nice and high. Exhale, fan the hands down. Take our time as we sweep the knee back. Let's take another child's pose stretch. Oh my goodness, my hips feel amazing after that. Reach those arms long. Oh, and I can get even lower in my child's pose now. Stretching through the shoulders. Slowly, we're going to work our way into downward facing dog. So if we can, I'm tucking my shirt in. We're going to curl our toes, lift our hips, and find ourselves up high into down dog. So you wanna make sure that as we look back at our feet, they're about hips width distance apart, maybe a little bit closer. Our arms are just kind of working their way out towards the edge of the mat, spread those fingers, and then allow your ears just to fall in between your arms. Shoulders and hips face the floor, and then we can start pedaling through the feet. So for any of us who are asking to stretch our calf muscles today, any of us looking to really work through those thighs, this is a great exercise to work through the feet, activate through those big muscles up the back side of the legs. Get those going a bit here. All right, now make sure we're happy with down dog. Plant those feet. Notice our arms and just go ahead and shake the head no. Let's get rid of any tension. No, 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 no. And then we finish on a positive shake, yes. Nice nod of the head, yes, up and down. Good, okay, now our shoulders are getting tired. Let's take a big inhale, let's root forward into plank. Feel free to stay up high in plank or take our knees down to the floor and modify. Chaturanga, slow, 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 slow. Scoop up for Cobra. Now feel free to take baby cobra or move your hands back farther down towards your ribs and lift up higher in a cobra stretch. Long neck. Good. Press back into your downward facing dog. Now this time we're going to add a twist. I want us to take our right hand up off the ground, reach it back towards your left leg. So you're gonna feel this through the shoulders for sure. Try to keep your body balanced, it's a lot of work. And you may also feel this in the outside of your left hip if you need a stretch up your IT band or in through the glutes. Just notice where you're feeling it. Now as we switch, we're going to take a rest, so no worries. I want us to inhale forward into plank again. That's a lot of work, isn't it? Chaturanga, that slow controlled lower. Scoop up for another cobra. Oh, amazing. Good, long neck, keep those shoulders away from the ears at all times. We're working on correcting posture. Press back in through down dog. Now remember, child's pose is always an alternative. Feel free to take child instead if down dog is too much stress on the shoulders today. Otherwise, I want you to take that left hand up off the floor. Now that we've grounded our feet, work towards holding on to that right leg, wherever it's comfortable. Maybe you're just kind of touching the thigh, Maybe you're not quite reaching down to the foot yet. That's okay. Remember, there's no competition in yoga and there is no judgment. We listen to our body and we hold the pose that works for us. Very good. It's difficult. This is a difficult pose. Take ourselves back. 
and we'll take that flow series. Inhale forward through plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, lift up. <sighs> now, instead of going back into child pose or down dog this time, I want us just to lay all the way down on our mat, on our stomach, and just making sure that we feel comfortable here. All right, so just relaxing. Take a couple big breaths. While we're here, we'll take ourselves into half bow, stretching our legs, stretching our hips, opening up our chest. So if we can turn our nose to face the ground, we'll grab our right hand and hold our right ankle. Now just notice if your leg opened up and flailed, I want you to keep your knees close together, your thighs running parallel to one another. Take that right foot that you're holding on to. Right now it's likely pointed. I want to see if you can flex it. It just, it gives you a little bit more support and roll that right shoulder back. So you're really opening it up, practicing good posture. This left hand, just brace it on the floor beside your shoulder and now lift up. Kick that foot back, open up through the front of the right chest. Just a dancer pose that normally we would stand and do that now we're doing practicing on the ground. So as we press that foot back, you might feel that it's a little bit hard to breathe because you're pressing your diaphragm, that balloon under your rib cage into the floor. Just focus on your breathing. Big inhale to lift. Exhale to relax. And do that a couple of times. Last big inhale, let's get bigger. Exhale, release completely. Oh my goodness. Take a couple of breaths, just laying on our floor. And before we all fall asleep, because we're so relaxed, go ahead and take our nose and point it towards the mat. Take our left hand, grab the outside of our left ankle. Remember, let's run those thighs parallel to each other. Right hand comes underneath the shoulder. Left foot flexes, so we try to drive a heel up to the ceiling as we lift the leg. Keep the hips and shoulders square to the floor. What that means is I don't want us to cheat ourselves out of a good stretch by opening. I want us to keep the body neutral, facing directly down to the ground. The neck can come up a bit. Notice how the stretch feels on the left side, comparing it to the right. Again, you'll notice it's a little bit tricky to, uh, to breathe here, a little hard to talk to. Don't get panicked. We're just laying on our diaphragm. Let's take one more big inhale. Exhale, relax. Again, let's just take a moment Feel comfortable, slow our breathing. Now we're going to reach our arms forward. Now I'm just gonna move myself back on my mat so I have a little bit more space resting my arms comfortably on the ground. We're tying ourselves into a knot. This is our thread the needle that we've already done today, but now we're laying on our belly. So if we can start by taking our right arm, thread that all the way underneath your left shoulder. Laying and thread the needle, just a half knot. Now you can stay here in half knot, or for anyone looking for more, let's tie ourselves in a full knot, make that bow tie by bringing the left arm under as well. Now we're drawing a straight line and you just let your head fall down. You stay there, I'm just gonna demonstrate standing up what that looks like. So if we had our right arm across, now we're bringing our left arm across as well, pulling. It feels so good. And then just relax, lay down in Superman. So take those arms forward and just relax in Superman. I'll join you on the floor again. Let's repeat the knot on the other side. We start by drawing the left arm directly underneath our chest, underneath that right arm. Go ahead, lay into that left ear. Slow our breathing. Nice, easy shoulder stretch. Relaxing down. Now some of us may choose to stay in this half knot pose. Feel free to do so. If you'd like more, join me in tying ourselves into a full knot, a bow tie. 
draw that arm, the right arm now across. So we're drawing a straight line with our arms if we could from fingers through shoulders and fingers. And just see how far we can drop the head. Some of us may be able to get our forehead down. And some of us may be quite far away from that. That's okay. Again, there's no judgment. We're all built differently. Hmm. Stretching through those shoulder blades. Take a couple more big breaths. And slowly relax out to Superman. Just reaching those arms forward. Hands now from here. We're going to come underneath the shoulders. Let's come up again into Cobra. We start with grounding our hands, squeezing our shoulder blades, lifting up. Oh my goodness. The freedom of movement that we've increased our range of motion so much higher off the mat. Notice how much more length we have in our body now that we've opened that up with the bow pose particularly. We're going to come back onto our stomach, taking our arms out to the side as we prepare for scorpion. Now there's lots of different ways of doing this. So I really want you to pay attention as we go through this together. Let's take our right hand underneath our right shoulder, bend your right knee. Now from here, we just roll over that left arm. Some of us will stop quite early. Some of us will come so that your right foot is pointed or right foot's on the ground, right knee pointed straight up to the ceiling. And some of us will choose to take both legs down with your knees pointed up. Honestly, this is whatever feels good. Try to relax that head. Notice how this feels as we open up through the chest, the bicep. And then we'll slowly work our way all the way centered on our mat again. Oh my goodness. Let's take the other side. Left hand comes underneath the shoulder. That right arm is now out straight. I'll recommend that we bend our left knee. And using that left hand, we roll over the right arm. Stop as soon as you feel the stretch. For me, I need to place both feet on the floor, knees up, listen to your body, and then try to relax that head down. slowly whirling all the way onto our stomach again. This time take our arms underneath our shoulders. Let's push up for our final cobra stretch. Notice if there's any more length, engage those abdominal muscles, press the legs down into the floor, long necks lift up tall, and then soon the best feeling in the world is gonna come, ready for it? Press back in through child's pose. I love doing child's pose after stretching open the backs. Oh my goodness, all that extra length that we just gave ourselves in between all of those little discs, the vertebrae running up our backs. We just separated them a little bit. We're a little bit taller than we were before we started yoga today. So now we get to rest in child's pose and take a couple more big breaths. Slowly working our way up through tabletop. Go ahead and just sit on the side. We're going to stretch ourselves in mermaid. So as we sit on our side, go ahead and gather our knees together and just hold on to our ankle with our left hand. So as we hold on to our ankle with our left hand, that leaves our right hip and our right hand free. So what I'd like us to do as we sit in mermaid is just lift that right arm up nice and tall. Take a big inhale, big breath in. Now exhale, lean over towards the left. Now keep the shoulder open. What tends to happen is we just collapse. I don't want us to collapse. I want us to get longer. So we give that right side of our body more space. Take a couple big breaths here. Now for anyone, if this is too much on the shoulder, you can keep your arm down, but just keep opening up through the side. Good, take a big inhale, lift up. Now we'll just kick those feet underneath of us, coming up onto the knees. We're going to repeat that now on the other side. Your right hand holds your right ankle. Left hand, big inhale, lifts up. And then we bend over. Just comfortable as we press in through that left hip, open up through the left shoulder. Good, keep reaching it a little bit longer. Remember, we want lots of space between ear and shoulder always. 
big inhale lift up and exhale release all right now while we're here i want us to just swing those legs forward find a comfortable seated position guys make sure we're comfy cozy sit up nice and tall we're going to focus on stretching through our neck now so as we continue to sit up tall practicing good posture we allow the muscles to come into their natural neutral position rolling those shoulders down our back take our right ear over towards our right shoulder and then press that left hand away stretching the whole way down the left shoulder good feel free to close your eyes Tuck your chin down and towards the right shoulder as we reach that left arm back behind us a little bit more. And relax that there. Guys, take a couple shoulder rolls before we repeat that on the other side. We'll sit up really nice and tall. Take our left ear towards our left shoulder. Press that right arm away. And then tuck that chin down slightly. We can reach the right arm back behind us more. And just sit up nice and tall. I'd like us now to take our arms, reach them out nice and long, as wide as we'll go with our thumbs up. Notice those shoulders coming down. Good, and then thumbs down and we press back. Some of us may choose to imagine holding on to one of our big plotty balls that I've got shown here. You can pretend you're holding that behind you, or you can interlace your fingers and puff the chest, looking up to the ceiling. Whatever feels better. Good, release that. Take our hands together in the front. We interlace them, but we have our thumbs pointing down. And I want you to round your back, Draw your bellies in and tuck your chin. And just hold it here. And now I want you to lean over towards the left, peeking underneath that right shoulder. Good, sneaky little stretch here for the back of that right shoulder blade. And keeping those bellies drawn in, now let's lean over towards the right side and peek underneath that left shoulder. Let's see if we can look under the elbow. And then coming back in through the middle, let's lift up big and tall, big inhale. Good, now draw the hands behind our back, kind of like we're just laying at the beach, we're relaxing, draw those shoulders down, open up the elbows, see if we can look up to the ceiling a bit. I like to close my eyes here. We can even start to enter into that meditation phase of our practice, imagining that we're at the beach. It's warm, it's sunny. We have to close our eyes, the sun is so bright. We can hear the waves crashing in. Just imagine yourself in that safe place. Now draw your elbows in around your ears. Tuck your chin down into your chest, round your back, draw the bellies in. Couple big breaths. Lean a little bit to the right, see if that changes the stretch at all. Lean a little bit to the left. And coming back in through the middle, lift our head up nice and tall. Take your time. Open up those elbows. Oh, good. Let's inhale, lift our arms up nice and tall. We're just going to fan them out. Big exhale. Okay, take a couple more shoulder rolls. And I want us to stay sitting really nice and tall today. Close our eyes, our hands can hold our knees, they can come in the basket or they can rest open face. I want us to find ourselves coming into that final relaxation, sitting up as tall as we've ever sat, noticing our breathing and trying to relax the muscles. Noticing as we sit here, we can revisit the beach if that's a safe place for us or any other location that is just a really calming, peaceful place, our favorite spot, if you will. I want you to imagine that you're there right now. 
And if you find that it's just becoming too hard to do that, see if there's another place that you can go. So wherever it is that we feel comfortable and feel safe, even if it's in the room that you're sitting right now and you just like to be there, I want you to focus on that space. Whether you're imagining or if you're picking up on the actual details, I want you to ask yourself what you hear. Ask yourself what you feel, the temperature. If we're imagining we're outside, is there a breeze? And then continuing to focus on that inhale, exhale. Notice how calm, how relaxed we feel. Slowing down our breathing. Allowing us to just regain control. Control of our heart rate. Control of the pace of our thinking. Of how stressed or worried we can feel. And at this time, right now, in this moment, together, we can support each other, support each other as we practice, taking care of our body, our health, our spirit. Be grateful for that opportunity.